Good morning. I'm wearing my third ever jersey. Brazil 94. Um, I might show you later a little bit more about that. But now uh, let's get to the latest calculations with uh, both favorites winning. Uh, we just can't expect that Brazil is more dominant. And yeah, let's see how the performance index for Japan also fell and maybe Brazil was rising. Just let's have a look. So we see indeed Brazil rose. They had to win Mexico. Now they're the big favorites again. Uh, their percentage rose by a full 5% while France fell by more than 1%. Belgium did not fall as much because they qualified, but playing Brazil, um, yeah, they had even a very, very slight increase. Other than that, there are not too many differences, except England and Uruguay flip-flopping again. Um, and I honestly wonder exactly why that happened. Uh, but yeah, that's the way it is. Um, also note that among the top eight teams, one, at least one, is bound to fall because England is playing Colombia. And we know that Russia will be in the top eight. Uh, so those 10 teams here are still in contention for the big title. Um, as for ranking Mexico with two wins, <laughs> excuse me, is of course uh, stays the same. And Japan uh, with four points, the same as Argentina, just is ahead of Argentina thanks to goal differential. Now the expected tournament, I skipped over the group stage, didn't change a lot because we had two favorites winning yesterday. So we had here Brazil 2 over Mexico, Belgium 3-2 over Japan, so we still have the Brazil versus Belgium matchup. Uh, and we have France against Brazil in the semis. And here on the bottom, we still have England in the final with uh, Croatia slated to play Russia. And if everything goes as I project, we have Switzerland against uh, England in the other quarterfinal. Um, these are going to be interesting games, um, especially since it's, again, a very uneven. Those two teams, England and Colombia, are rated ahead of Switzerland and Sweden. So um, whoever wins is favored here. Okay, let's look at the performance index. Indeed, Japan fell a little bit, but not uh, enough to lose third place. So they have a 0.724. Uh, final index, whereas uh, Russia and Croatia still can, uh, this still can change based on their performance. Um, what else? We have Belgium stayed actually also the same, but um, now slightly better ahead of Korea. And oh, da, 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 we have here Brazil moved up two spots. Um, you will see Brazil as they progress, they will get slowly, slowly better. I think they need to reach at least the semi-final to get a substantial index. In this range here, right around Iran, Brazil, Tunisia, Serbia and Senegal, this is basically a performance as roughly as expected with Senegal slightly less and the others slightly better than expected so far. But also I think if Brazil would get eliminated in quarters, their index might drop. I don't know for sure, but they might it might drop uh, just a little bit. Well, that was that. Again, not many changes. We may see more uh, after the two last round of 16 matchups. And I'm looking forward to show you my quarterfinal projections for tomorrow. Up until then. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.